bum bum. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum bum. So, reciprocity. Reciprocity. What's reciprocity mean? <laughs> Reciprocating. Anyway, uh, supermodel photographer, extraordinaire, got turned on by the X-T2 by my recommendation, and he has one now. And he just loves it. It's like, he really loves it. Um, but he turned me on to something else. I was thinking about buying the 35 F9 point, uh, F0.95, and I finally did, but I bought it after getting this lens, and oh my god, what a lens it is. He told me, well, hey, you got to take the advice of the guy that shoots uh, covers for Vogue, L, Harper's Bazaar, and shoots the hottest supermodels <laughs> on planet Earth, like hot. <laughs> so his recommendation was that this lens was the tits. Those were not the words that he used. And uh, I bought it. 85 millimeter F1.2. Did you, did you say F1.2? Indeed, I did. That is a manual focus lens. It's available in several, several different mounts. And oh my god, it is heavy. Fit, build, construction, output, bokeh, etc. Eh, all of it is just incredible. It's amazing. Secondly, I bought the 35mm f0.95 for Fuji mount. I didn't bring it out here. Sorry, I have the lens. I actually have to say that, you know, you've, of course, I know those are uh, Korean lenses, the, uh, the Samyang, and of course, we, we have, uh, Samyang's been rebranded. Now they're rebranded as uh, Iris, and then you have, uh, of course, the total uh, garbage by Rakinen. Of all the... Um, third-party Chinese lens manufacturers, and I don't mean Tamron and Sigma. Sigma's junk, by the way. Tamron, or, uh, well, actually, who else is there other than Tamron? You know, we have the hardcore Japanese lenses like Voigtlander and Zeiss and Contax and some German uh, lens, yeah, Leica and Contax, uh, German lens. But I'm talking about above, you know, Nikon, Nikon and Canon and Fujifilm. Okay, and then we have the creme de la creme lenses like Zeiss, Contax, Leica, Voigtlander. Other than Tamron, which waves between those depending on when it was made, and uh, love the hell out of Tamron. This is, I have to put this as number one on the pedestal, and the only thing coming out of, you know, as far as off-off brand, because off brand would be Tamron, right? It's off brand, but. I guess I'm going to invent it. I have to call it off off brand. <laughs> the realm of off off brand, Samyang, Rakinen, and uh, Zhang Yi, uh, the Miticon, uh, I really feel bad in even putting that in the same category, the Zhang Yi lenses as Samyang and Rakinen, because those lenses are crap. They're just crap. These lenses are incredible. Um, wow. Uh, fit and finish and quality of. Uh, of uh, manufacture, really like about 95% of uh, of his ice lens, and of course way cheaper, um, sharper too. By the way, Zeiss doesn't know how to make a good sharp wide angle lens, uh, wider than a 28 millimeters. By the way, these lenses are incredible. Not only that, they're just bleeding cheap. If you actually order them from Hong Kong, uh, the only funny thing is on their website. <laughs> You read about them, and they say, well, we use Japanese manufacturing equipment and Japanese... Because, you know, everybody knows Japanese lenses are just amazing, right? The only thing better than that is some really expensive German lenses, and really not then. The Japanese are the best lenses. They go to the really great links on the Chinese website for this lens company to say, we use Japanese equipment and Jan Japanese manufacturing style and Japanese... <laughs> They shouldn't do that because their products are so good they stand on they stand they stand on their own two feet. Um, really, really, absolutely, definitely the n number one, number one. Wow, number one. So I guess you would call these off off brand because Tamron Tamron is an off brand. So so does that make these off off brand? I actually place these alongside Tamron. I can't call these off brand, off off brand. Off off brand is the real garbage, Sam Yang and Rakinen. These these are incredible lenses. These are made better, if you're listening closely, 
These are made better than most of uh, Nikon's current lens lineup from China. Now those are autofocus lenses. I know that for crying out loud, okay? It's a manual focus lens, you fat schmuck. These are incredible lenses. Love it. So here's a big shout out to Benjamin Canterac for turning me on and forcing me to buy this lens, and which after which I, you know, turned around and bought the 35 millimeter copy of uh, the Zhang Yi uh, optics for the uh, Fuji X mount. Awesome lenses. I can't wait for them to roll out new stuff. This is a lens company I've got my eyes on, really got my eyes on. I can't wait. Please, please turn out some more lenses, Zhang Yi. Really great stuff. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.